Hello, you guys. Welcome again to your yoga class and your YMCA 360 Houston classes. My name is Melianka. Today we will be doing 45 minutes of yoga, so get ready uh, to start the class in a few minutes. Your mat is perfect. If you don't have one, just use a towel and uh, dim the lights. Make sure you have a very quiet space to begin because today we will be doing a stress release yoga class. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin sitting. Make sure you're comfortable. Let's start connecting with your breath and the music and the sounds. Deepen your breath into your nose, all the way to your belly. As you exhale, do it slowly through your nose. Keep your eyes closed, focused in the present. Right now, this moment, soften your hands and your fingers, your wrists, your shoulders. Relax your hips, your legs. Feel that relaxation coming in as you breathe, getting out as you exhale, and do it at least two more times. Awesome. Press through the hands strongly, push your hips high, and get into it. All four position, press back into child pose, inhale. Look to the right, exhale, inhale. Look to the left, exhale. Do it one more time, inhale. Look to the right, exhale, inhale. Look to the left, exhale. And softly come and get your body into your cat pose. Cat pose, cow pose. So you go from cat to cow. And you inhale as you lift your chest and head. Exhale. 
as you pull your belly and round your lower back. And you do it at least three times with full breaths in and out. So you exhale when you pull your belly, like emptying yourself, pressing strongly through the hands and feeling the wonderful stretch right on the back of that upper shoulder area. And then exhale and lift, tailbone high, chest high, hold release get your body ready for the class length of the mat hands right on the shoulders press your feet tuck your toes and press get your body into your downward dog exhale pressing chest towards thighs inhale and get your body into a plank exhale here inhale again Push back, exhale into your downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, inhale, downward dog. Exhale. Do it at least two more times to warm up your body. When you are done here, try bending your knees and lifting your heels really high. Bend your knees deeply, press strongly, knees towards chest, lengthen legs, drop your heels and get your body into your plank, put your knees down, flatten your feet, exhale into crocodile, inhale to baby cobra, rolling shoulders into the spine, squeeze your glutes, exhale, release, do it again, in, out, two more times. to the floor, push strongly through the feet, and get yourself into the downward dog one more time, separate your feet hip distance apart, bend your knees, lift your heels, and get your knees close to your chest, lengthen, drop, heels, plank, let's go straight to crocodile if you want to put your knees down, feel free, exhale, and then up dog, inhale, push strongly and get your feet flattened so you can drop your hip and keep your thighs off the ground. Take a nice inhale, then look up, exhale, release, empty yourself. Now bend the knees, get your front leg, the leg that is closer to your TB or device right in front into a deep lunge, lift your chest and get your back knee high, inhale and salute, exhale, touch the floor, try dropping the back knee and flatten the foot and do it again, inhale and salute and you're gonna do it one more time each and then back leg, inhale, you need more balance here so inhale, exhale, drop, inhale, Exhale, push that foot back, empty yourself here into your downward dog, lift the heels, bend the knees, knees to chest, lengthen, drop, inhale to plank, exhale, crocodile, inhale, up dog. So here you go, you see my hips high, I want them down, but try not to touch the floor with the thighs, lift, squeeze, Take it back, inhale, and exhale into your downward dog. Do it again, lift heels, bend knees, push. Exhale, release, and then bring the back leg right in between your hands for your lunge. You keep it up, lift the chest. Salute, exhale, touch. Drop the knee, flatten your feet foot, inhale and salute again, we're going to do it one more time, touch, lengthen, inhale, exhale, drop, good, so from here, we're going to push back, bending the back leg, 
push back. Good. So in here, we want to get the hands to the back. And this knee is going to lift. Push yourself up. Squeezing the back of your shoulders. Lifting chest high. Release. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to feel the hands getting numbed. All of that is part of the pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Two more times. Exhale. One more time. Beautiful release. Get your feet right straight out. And then feel the beautiful tingling on your hands. I want you to feel that, all right? After doing that previous pose, you're going to feel how your hands are light because of the tingling and because of you trapping the blood with that pose. So we're going to try that pose one more time. This time, if you can, try with both feet touching the ground. So here we go. Hands to the sides, fingers out. Align yourself and then try. If it is too much with the legs extended, you can bend and try touching the toes. This is the modified version. If you can, try the full version. Inhale. Exhale. Drop down. Do it again. Inhale. Hold it and exhale as you drop down one more time. I want you to pay attention to your hands one more time because that's what we are looking for. Down numbness. Exhale. Swing your arms forward. Touch to the floor. Swing back. Inhale. And exhale. Close your eyes. Focus on those hands. Soft hands, soft fingers, soft wrists. All right, so very gently, you're gonna bring the back foot in, slide yourself forward, lay down. We're gonna push into a bridge pose with one leg extended. So we extend the leg, push high. We're gonna be working a little bit of back here. So drop to knee, inhale, lift. Squeeze the back of your body and do it again. Inhale, you inhale, inhale, you exhale. Do it two more times. Put your foot down and then press strongly through those heels. If you can try sliding yourself so much that you are literally getting your fingers to your heels. Hold up, reach. Squeeze your glutes. Release. You're going to do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. All right, let's get the other leg. So separate your feet a little bit from your hip. And get your leg aligned. Push your uh, hip high. And then go. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. And when you're ready, touch down, push the heels towards your hands and go high, 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 high. Inhale, exhale, release. One last time, inhale. Exhale, release. Wonderful job. Whenever you're ready, I want you to extend your legs all the way out. And then get, now you want, you, you're feeling the numbness on those legs. That's what we want. Now we're going to try to get our head like this. Right, so. You get the way in the crown of the head, and then you relax your hands. Inhale. Exhale. 
inhale and exhale soft don't force the breath it's difficult to breathe in this pose as you have the lungs slightly bend right there through your back right can you feel it inhale exhale so release softly by pushing through the elbows you got it now you're gonna feel that lower back kind of crunch in there and then the release so try to feel it right there hug one knee and the other knee and then we're gonna do it again so use your hands first push push and go to relax your legs you're gonna feel the weight right on your head the crown of your head is supporting your body so try relaxing and breathing for the last time inhale and exhale use your elbows to get out of the pose and hug your knees wonderful job all right we're gonna flip over And then you're gonna get on your belly. If you are pregnant, all you need to do is be here, okay? You're all fours for the rest of this class or for the rest of this exercise. So we're going to be doing some back extensions. And we're gonna do it with the boat pose. If you are on your all four, all you need to do is try to grab your opposite foot with your hand, okay? That's how you're gonna do it if you're expecting a baby, because we want that baby to be really safe. So here we go. For the rest of us, extend the hand out, uh, one of them, and then go ahead and grab your foot. So this is your boat pose, flex your top foot and then go up so you can stay here for a little while maybe five seconds inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling and then release all the way down take a little bit of a break then when we go up this time we're going to go really high okay really really high take a nice inhale press press and hold that half bow pose into the nose out through the nose again into the nose out through the nose release and feel how after the heat you have that wave of relaxation beautiful wave of relaxation let's go to the other side flex take a kind of halfway only inhale inhale and exhale and do it at least five seconds maybe five full breaths Breathe in, three, go up. As high as you can. This is creating a lot of tension on your muscles. And after the tension, after the heat, it comes the relaxation. So inhale, exhale, one more time. And then get all the way down, release everything. Take a couple of recovering breaths and let's get ready for the full bow now if you're pregnant we don't want you to do any of that of course so keep going with your alternating hand and foot all right
right? So let's go for both. Flex both, both of your feet, lift the thighs of the ground. Now you can lift the thighs of the ground and feel that crunch on your lower back. And then as you start breathing, you, you're literally moving like a boat. Let's go, inhale, exhale, inhale. So you can be comfortable here. If this is difficult for you, you can grab your one of your um, pants. If you have the edge of the pant, if you have a long pant. Otherwise, just get it close, but go up and down. Then little by little, you will get there. So if you're ready, if we are all ready, let's go up for at least five seconds, inhaling and exhaling and holding the boat to the edge of that pose as high as you can. job take a soft release and I want you to rest your body feel that relaxation after the heat try to relax a little bit deeper wonderful job press with your hands get your body into a child pose pose exhale get your forehead to your hands trying to bring your chin close 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 to your chest that way we're gonna put the weights right on the crown of the head so let me show you quickly how it goes so we're gonna put the crown of the head to the floor this pose is really good it's gonna give us some relaxation that we hardly ever had a chance to do. So go ahead and feel free to move forward back, forward back. Carefully, try not to over extend your neck muscles. Inhale and exhale, move side to side, softly, carefully. All the way to the forehead, all the way to the crown of the head. Use your hands if you need more support. Side to side, ear to ear. How does that feel? Very good, right? Okay, guys. Let's get into the rabbit pose. So we're gonna drop to the forehead, clap the hands behind our back. And then we're gonna get our knuckles up, squeezing that back, and then try to get all the way to the crown of the head. Hold your pose into the nose, out through the nose. Beautiful job. When you are ready to get out of the pose, release. Push it with your hands and let's go to some wide legged workout. So we're gonna step forward with the front foot, the foot that is closer to your device, okay? Where you're looking at me. So we're gonna get into a deep lunge, tug your toes, and get into a knee up lunge and softly push through the front foot so you get your back foot closer, closer, closer. So you're gonna get it as close as you can drop the heel and then rest right on top of that front leg, okay? Rest right there. So in here, we're gonna get into two different positions maybe three in a flow sequence. This is going to bring a lot of heat to our body and warm. So that will get us ready for 
the end of the class. So let's begin by getting into pyramid pose. So lending by pushing that knee back, 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 and keeping the head towards the ground. So of course this requires flexibility of the hamstring and sometimes that is not uh, our hamstring is not ready for that so my option for you would be to keep your knee bent and lift your chest halfway and then try lengthening with your chest halfway and lengthen 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 and see where you can get if you think that you need some support some people like to do blocks um, in this case we're using just our body to support ourselves okay so hands to your knee that would be good lengthen 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 if you are in the full pyramid pose just relax your upper body as much as you can and push the hip high and get your head as close as you can to your leg take a big inhale and as you exhale, you release. As soon as you feel that tingling on your foot, you are ready to move. So bend the knee, and then listen, we're gonna move from here to twisted triangle. So press those hands all the way towards the knee, and then softly, you're gonna cross your shoulders first. Okay, cross your shoulders and then slide down little by little. You can start by pushing the hand back. You can start sliding the hand towards the shin and then see how it goes. You can keep that knee bent, but if you're ready for the full pose, go for it, lengthen and twist. Into nose, out through nose, leg is also pressing so you have the support bend the knee to get out of the pose if you need to and then softly hand to the ground now let's take the flow pose front foot is going to press back three-legged dog press strongly through the hands bend the knee inhale exhale and swing your knee towards your nose and do it again, inhale, lift, bend, exhale, swing, one more time, and let go, put your feet down, both of them, and then give me a deep downward dog with knees bent, exhale, plank, crocodile, up dog, Exhale, downward dog. Good job. So the back foot is going to come in between your hands. So remember what we did before. Lovely. So I'm going to change my position so you can see. But you can do it just as I did, okay? So I'm gonna put this foot in front so you can see. So we're gonna begin with pyramids. Bend your knee, relax your head. If you need to walk your back foot slightly in so your heel is resting on the ground, please do. Please do that so you're ready for it. And then when you start, remember the options. If you feel that you're not ready to go all the way down, all you need to do, just get your hands right on top of your thigh. And start coming down, and start landing, pushing the knee back and then feel it for a couple of seconds and then try again. And then little by little you'll get there, okay? Remember, flexibility comes from relaxation. So breathe and relax and try to hold for your belly. Go as low as your body allows you to go in this pyramid pose. Head to the ground. Let's get ready for triangle pose. 
If you want to stay in your pyramid pose for a little, a little bit longer, please feel free. Okay? So pyramid goes two triangles. You're going to... It's a twisted triangle, actually. Right? Twisted triangle. So we go here. We try to first cross the shoulders. If we need to open the legs a little bit more, we do that. Open the hand. And then we start going down. Feel that the back leg is pressing. Use your hand to get yourself on the floor, pushing through it and lending the front leg. Inhale, exhale. If you feel your front leg is having too much heat, just bend your knees slightly. It's completely okay. You have to take your time to get there, okay? Inhale, exhale. When you are ready to get out of the pose, you swing the hand down and then softly get your front foot to the back, get yourself into downward dog, push, bend your knees deeply and then get yourself into three-legged dog, bend, extend, swing in towards your nose and come back up. So we're gonna do that two more times using the breath in, out, in, out, in, and out. Do it again. All right, so you're gonna put your Foot down, get yourself into downward dog, plank, crocodile, and up dog. Squeeze. Good job, guys. Take it back, empty yourself. <sighs> Lovely. So get. Your feet close to your hands, walk your feet to your hand and relax your body on a forward fold. So forward folds are also very good for us. This is the first inversion, simple inversion. So what we want is to feel the hip pushing towards the ceiling and the head towards the ground. We relax our hands. If you're pregnant, please separate your feet hip distance apart and keep doing everything with your hip distance apart. Your knees are soft, you relax your head. This pose, believe it or not, is the easiest way to stretch the muscles of your back and get that relaxation you're looking for. If you feel your feet getting numb, all you do is you raise halfway, you put your hands to your thighs or maybe your shins flat back pose and then intense pose let that blood flow extend the mountain to baby back bend and come back down exhale and we try again to relax our body right here on a forward fold Now you have two other poses that you can try on your forward fold and it's your big toe pose which is hands right under the ball of your feet and relaxing right there or you can do ragdoll which is right here and if you lend them your legs for a couple of seconds and you move side to side maybe you can absolutely feel that stretch coming from the muscles around your lower back to the upper back all the way and then from your hip down towards your ankle. Exhale, bend. Use your hands to walk yourself to flat back pose. And then intense. And then baby back bend. Extend the mountain, baby back bend.
Come back up. Release your hands down. Beautiful. We're going to do one more pose for the legs. So your front foot, your foot that is closer to the camera, in my case, for you, to your device. It's going to step forward. And then look at this. Hands wrap behind your back. You can either do it here, kind of grabbing your elbows, or you can do it right here. Okay, touching your fingertips and getting those palms up, 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 up. And then softly pushing forward. This is going to give you a nice stretch, the front of those shoulders. So press, inhale, exhale. Keep pressing down and down. Lengthen your leg if you can and square your shoulders towards the ground. Hold that pose for at least three seconds. Big breath in. Exhale. Bend your knee if you need it. Do it again. Good job. Release. Wonderful. All the way up. Wow, did you feel that? Right on your shoulders. Good. Now softly. And then back. Push the knee forward. Kind of in a word walk position. And then we're going to move to the other side. All right? So let's go. You're going to either hold your forearms like this or you can do your prayers pose. Just like that. If you feel any type of pain, don't force it, all right? Don't force it. Getting the palms together behind our back is pretty, pretty advanced. You need a lot of flexibility on the shoulders, so don't force it. Just try and see how you feel. Inhale, bend your knee first, drop chest. And then you can try lengthening and give me a three to five second pose. Inhaling, exhaling, squaring the shoulders towards the ground. Your chest is lifted. Inhaling again, exhaling again. One last time. And then you bend the knee, release the hands, and come up. Push your knee forward, really tight. Good. Awesome. Take a nice roll of the shoulders and come back to the floor. All right, guys. So for the next five minutes, we're going to be doing some meditation relaxation. But before that, let's give it a little bit of a release to the lower back, okay? So hug your knees tight. Breathe in, breathe out. And then bring those knees right over hips and drop into one side of the room. Square your shoulders by lifting like this and then relaxing the back shoulder, inhale and exhale. Wonderful job, wonderful job. When you're ready, bring the knees up and over and go to the other side. So as soon as you're here, what you want is to square your Shoulders towards the ceiling and drop the back of your shoulder to the floor. There you go. Inhale and exhale. All right. Time to begin with meditation relaxation. So I would like you to get a comfortable position. You can be definitely on the floor, on your side, or you can be seated. Depends how you want to meditate and relax today. So let's begin 
wherever you are, close your eyes. If you feel some type of tension somewhere, just find a way to get rid of it. By maybe moving that part a little bit and then releasing as you breathe out. Now connect once more with the sensations you have crying out on your body. So whatever you're feeling, maybe some heat, maybe some relaxation, maybe some tension, whatever it is, connect to that. And use your breath to soften that part of your body into the nose. like it flows all the way towards your tire front. And as you exhale, super, super slowly, relax into a deeper state where you feel absolutely light so much that you can feel like you're floating.
you can start energizing your body. And when you are ready, start moving your hands, make a fist, move your ankles. Hug your knees. And with a big breath in, roll up. If you are on a course pose and sit. Let's take the last breath of the class. Inhaling through the nose. Hands together over your head. Drop them to your heart. Empty yourself. As you feel yourself back up, you remember that today you practice flexibility. So you are ready for any challenge that comes your way. You're going to be flexible and ready to adapt. Thank you so much. Namaste. Hope to see you next time.